Hey guys, what's up? It's me, and I'm back, and we're back to this life of my shelving unit. So, um, I'm sorry for the time that I was absent. I want to put up a quick clarification. My channel is not closing. I am not stopping putting up videos. I was just at RT- I was getting ready for RTX, and then it was RTX, and then the day after RTX, I went to go visit a friend in a different state, so I wasn't able to record or edit videos. So I know I'm really behind. I'm perfectly aware of that, and I'm so sorry, but I'm hoping to catch up now. RVB, I'm going to be putting up episode 15 soon, and hopefully 16 even sooner than that, so I'll have everything back ready for when everything starts coming to a head for that. But the Volume 5 Weiss character short came out, and I had the awesome privilege of seeing this at RTX. I got to sit really, really close to the front, so I'm going to show that video before I actually show my re-reaction to it and talk about it. So... I got to see it in theaters, and a quick heads up that the video that I took of myself, I didn't record the thing, was not the best because they had brought the lights down very low, and you could mostly just see my face whenever Weiss was doing something really, really cool, so I apologize for that in advance, but I also want to re-watch it in a different setting and talk a little bit about the analysis because it kind of proved some things that I had theorizing right, which makes me very happy, uh, which probably annoys a lot of you guys because most of the time you're watching Ruby's just like, I knew it! I knew it that time! I was a troublemaker from the start! But, um, so I'm excited for that. So if I'm going to start playing that video now, and hopefully you guys can see it more or less. I apologize if you can't. I'll put a link so you can skip ahead or an annotation so you can skip ahead to the re-reaction of it if you prefer that. So... I'm not always going to be around to save you, Weiss. 
I'm sorry. I'll get better. You'll have to if you are the one to leave. couldn't see much but let's go and rewatch this and I'm shaking because I'm dying because I love Weiss and My heart's racing all over again. And in its place, there's nothing, just another empty hole. The darkness takes control. Bitterness and hatred. God, I'm shaking again. God, I love this song. Oh, God, that shot's so nice. Oh. That's such a nice detail to show the icicles melting, like just huge part, like huge prop to whatever team did that. I imagine that comp had a huge part, so huge props for that. Constantly forced to conform. God, these look so much, like we saw them in Poser with Winter, but they look so much better now. And why he's just... I also love that they were able to incorporate more of the gradient from the concept art in her outfit. God. I also really like this because I think this will work better to convert into a figure skating routine in her original trailer. Recognize. It's so cool that this is like leading up into Mirror Mirror because it's her songs are this huge progression and this slow piano is very distinct from the uh, Cascade that you hear in Mirror Mirror Part 1. And it's so reminiscent of the first one, just like Ruby's was, and it hurts me. I'm sorry. I'll get better. You'll have, have to, to if you ever want to leave. To leave. Like, you, you know it's a good trailer. Oh, I hope I wasn't too covered. But like, you know it's a good trailer when, like, after 
almost a month of not, well, I guess more like two weeks of not seeing it. Like, I'm still shaking. I'm still getting chills from watching this. Like, Weiss is a character I really love. I really relate to her in a lot of ways. And I love her music. I love the progression of her story, not only through the show, but also through the music. And that's been something that's always been really fascinating, is listening to Weiss's tracks. Especially, I was on a long car ride, and I listened to Mirror Mirror, Mirror Mirror Part 2, um, It's My Turn and then this life is mine. And I listened to it without It's My Turn as well. And it, like the music in itself tells this incredible story and I love it. And it's so beautiful how it's orchestrated with Weiss. And what's really nice about this trailer is that we got to see a lot of stuff that Weiss has always shown her rebellion through how she dresses. As, once she got her scar, she moved her ponytail to the other side. Her, her asymmetry was her form of rebellion against her father because she couldn't actively rebel. We saw that in Volume 4. She was incapable of actively rebelling without serious consequences. Consequences that she couldn't afford. And it's really interesting seeing her before she got that scar, and this was actually in the Volume 4 concept art as well, was that her ponytail isn't to the side, it's not a side one. And that's because that was the primary means through which she showed this asymmetry. And that in the Volume 4 concept art, when she was back with her father, originally in the art that they showed at RTX 2016, she had the ponytail back in the back again. So it was this whole resignation of being back to that pawn that her father created. So it's really interesting, and I love the musical piece in this. Like, Casey and John did such a beautiful job. Like, I think when I first heard it, I just immediately stopped breathing. Like, I've always loved Weiss's tracks. They've always been beautiful and amazing, and I can't listen to them without wanting to tear up. And this definitely continues that trend, and I'm so glad that we got this trailer. And I'm just excited to see what's next. I'm excited that we saw Winter, and we got to see her summoned Grimm again in Volume 4, uh, in, in the Volume 4 style, aka Maya. I'm very excited to see that, and I'm hopefully hopefully we can see it again soon, and this immediately just made me want to, I think I sent immediately a message to my photographer and was like, hey, want to do a photo shoot for Weiss soon? <laughs> and I've been working on Winter now and other volumes of Weiss, and I'm very excited to see where this goes, and I'm glad that we got this sort of flashback for her, and I'm excited to see the other flashbacks for the characters as well. I know a little bit about Blake's, and I'm very excited for it. And I'm a little proud of myself about it, but I'm not going to talk about it until it airs. But um, I'm I'm very excited about Weiss's development throughout the show. It's been one of the most clear character developments, and I really love being able to see it and see how she changes entirely through both her outfits and her appearance and her behavior and her fighting style. It makes everything seem so much more sense. Because my theories were again with the ponytail, her whole thing of asymmetry, but also that Winter had been the one training her. Because there was no way Weiss's father let like actively went out of his way to train her in combat. There was no reason for him to. If anything, he would have been strongly against it. So it makes sense for Winter to have taught her in secret because Winter was initially going to be the heir to the Shiny Dust Company. I'm I'm almost sure of it. So she was originally in Weiss's position, but she knew that she didn't want to be in this situation. So when Weiss made it clear that she didn't want to either, Winter was like, I'm going to show you how you can disobey our father and not be burned. This is how you can get out of the situation. This is how you can set yourself free. This is how you can break that mirror that you've been trapped behind. So she trained her in secret at night. And that's why Winter's thing is, I'm not always going to be around to save you. That's why Weiss was so careful in the very first volume of Ruby when she's getting ready to fight in an emerald forest she's like a right foot forward not too forward because she's correcting herself because she didn't have necessarily the formal instruction that you would get at signal academy she explicitly was taught by winter and when winter left to keep going with the atlas military she most likely had to train by herself alone she had to be her own she had to be her toughest critic because she couldn't ask her father she couldn't ask whitley she couldn't ask winter and I'm a little bit nervous because all of the songs are foreshadowing and the first line it's like it starts with the unexpected loss of something dear and at least my gut feeling right now is that that refers to her mother because something had to kickstart Weiss wanting to leave like you you can be in an abusive situation for a while and you can just come to a conclusion one day like you, you can just sit there and then one day something happens and you have to come to a conclusion with yourself that no I'm going to get out of this and so I think that Weiss's mother may have been the catalyst for that. So the loss of her mother and her life, the way that her father changed after her mother became, became, became an alcoholic, I think that may have been the loss of something dear, but that cradle that she talks about, that, that support that she always got from her mother being absent because her mother's spirit was finally smothered by Jacques and there was nothing left. And Weiss decided she wasn't going to sit by 
and watch and just watch as her life passed her by. She wasn't going to let herself lose who she was at the cost to help her father. So I, I'm very happy with the character. I love her character. She's incredibly brave and I'm very excited to see where this goes. I'm glad we got this flashback. So I hope this reaction was satisfactory for you guys and I hope that the clip was a little bright enough that you guys could see it. I'm sorry that this was late. I'm hopefully gonna get this out the day I'm recording it. And Ruby Chibi, I had the same problem with the filming because I didn't record one of them. So there won't be a couple Ruby Chibis for a little bit just because I have already seen them and it was like it's not genuine for me to see something at RTX and then act like I'm seeing it again for the first time. That's not fair to you guys. It's completely disrespectful to the concept of reactions. So I'm not going to be doing those, so I'm sorry if there's going to be a lack of videos there, but I am getting back to Camp Camp, so that'll be fun, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I have a lot of RPV to watch, so I will see you guys later.